Welcome. We're here at ASCO with Dr. Deborah Tripathi from MD Anderson, who's going to give us some quick updates. Dr. Tripathi. Thank you. I wanted to provide a couple of updates on some key uh, presentations made here at ASCO. The first one is in HER2 positive breast cancer, which represents about one fifth of all breast cancers. In the early stage setting, we now have new drugs that have been approved recently that can take patients who have already received preoperative chemotherapy and antibody therapy, the two that are commonly used is a drug called Herceptin, also known as Trastuzumab, and Pergetta, also known as Pertuzumab, along with chemotherapy, and then they go to surgery. If they still have tumor left, they may be at higher risk for recurrence. So just recently, the FDA approved a drug that can be used for those patients called TDM1. It's a drug that is already approved for metastatic breast cancer, but when it's used in these patients, it does a much better job of preventing recurrences than what the standard treatment would be, which is either Herceptin alone or Herceptin with Pergetta. So on that basis, we want to continue this trend and understand how we can better identify patients that may be at risk for recurrence. Because our goal, of course, is to cut the recurrence rate down to zero. But we're down to about 50, 60 percent, but we need to cut it by 100 percent. And uh, that's uh, the direction that we want to go in. Now, in order to do that, we have to also make advances in drugs that work in the metastatic setting. And another presentation uh, that is being shown here for the first time are the results of a trial called the SOFIA trial, where they're testing a new drug that's been engineered to turn on the immune system better. Drugs that work against Herceptin, particularly antibodies, work by binding HER2, which is a growth factor, and shutting down its activity as a growth factor. But the antibodies can also activate the immune system against cells that make HER2, so it has a dual function. Margituximab is the name of a drug that has an engineered antibody where they've spliced in a part of the antibody that overactivates the immune system. So the hypothesis is that this would actually act better than standard trastuzumab or Herceptin. So the trial that was just completed and re is being reported at ASCO compared standard Herceptin and chemotherapy to margituximab and the same chemotherapy. And in this randomized trial, patients actually had a longer progression-free survival. Uh, the, the, the wrinkle in this is that the benefit was only about a month and really for a new drug to be something that we consider a, a real victory, we'd like to see a much better impact. However, this is the first step in engineered antibodies and uh, I believe we will work out how to make these even more potent and then, as I mentioned earlier, start to bring them into the early stage setting so that we prevent recurrences in the first place. The other uh, advance uh, that is, uh, is, uh, has already been presented and will be presented in its full form tomorrow is the ad uh, survival advantage from ribocyclin, which is a class of, in a class of drugs called cyclin-dependent kinase inhibitors. These drugs have now been approved for about four years in the metastatic setting for hormone receptor positive HER2 negative breast cancers, and they roughly double the progression time that you would see with hormone therapy alone. So, However, they have not been shown to improve survival, how long people live. And so while we consider this a partial victory, we have been following patients on this trial to see if at some point in time we can actually demonstrate that survival has improved. And for the first time ever, one of these trials called the Mona Lisa 7, which uh, was done in premenopausal patients, compared standard endocrine therapy to endocrine therapy plus ribocyclin, also known as Kiskali. And this uh, study is actually showing an improvement in survival. Uh, the number of patients that actually survive at a uh, roughly a four-year time point uh, went up to 70% from under 50%. So it's a step in the right direction, and we certainly have a long way to go. But we were very pleased to see that we are now actually seeing survival advantages. There's a lot of new innovation in hormone receptor positive breast cancer. The recent approval of a class of drugs called PI3 kinase inhibitors is an example of newer drugs in our armamentarium that we hope we can add to our current regimens to start to extend more and more uh, the survival of patients or at least allow patients to live with a normal quality of life with metastatic breast cancer with drugs that are easy to take that have minimal side effects. That's, that's our goal 
and um, we still have more progress to make. So thank you for joining me for this update.